Hello and welcome to the big vote with me Nish to the right here on News 9 where we bring you all the election related updates of the day. Well first up today much was being speculated and said about what we can expect from the historic elections in Telangana this time around. And today amidst several clashes and controversies Telangana finally came out and voted for the candidates of their choice. The bad and the ugly in Telangana. Armed cops, people running helter-skelter. This was a scene witnessed in the Nizamabad region of Andhra Pradesh today as Telangana went to polls. The cops were seen forcing a voter into their jeep, even as his family preferred to accompany him to the police station than the polling station. Meanwhile, clashes breaking out between the activists of the TRS and TDP caused mild tension at a polling center in Pragnapur in Vedak district. A similar street brawl between the Congress and the TRS workers marred the polling for a brief while in Manthani of Karimnagar district. Congress and TDP workers almost came to blows with each other in Chaitanya Puri of Hyderabad as voting picked up pace for the LB Nagar Assembly constituency. In yet another incident, the police detained Pratap Reddy, the TDP candidate for the Gajuel Assembly seat in Medak. This is incidentally the seat that TRS Chief K. Chandrasekhar Rao is fighting for. The arrest came based on a complaint by the TRS men who accused the TDP candidate of distributing money and liquor in the constituency. In another nasty turn of events, Vikram Gaud, the son of former Minister of Congress Mukesh Gaud, allegedly attacked a few houses in Gauli Gauda area. He, along with his henchmen, ransacked the houses, allegedly targeting them for not voting for the Congress. The boycotts. While violence reared its head at quite a few places, voters exasperated with their Neta's callous attitude decided to let their voice be heard through poll boycott. <laughs> Villagers of Betalapadu in Huzurpadu of Kamam district abstained from polling en masse, protesting against unfulfilled promises of their leaders. They squatted on the road demanding an assurance that their village would get a long pending Pakka road soon. A similar protest was staged by villagers of Kebarti Peda Tanda in Vardhanapet Mandal of Warangal district. <laughs> Holding brooms, they demanded the officials look into their matter at the earliest. In this region, not a single vote was polled here until afternoon as the unrelenting villagers insisted on an assurance of a pakka road to their village. Money, money, baby. A car with currency notes concealed in the front engine section went up in flames in Nalagonda district late last night. The incident happening about five hours before polling time caused commotion as it bears the assembly legislator's sticker belonging to Uttam Kumar Reddy, an ex-minister from the district. Currency bundles running into a few crores were stashed in the engine section, but with the engine catching fire, most of the money was reduced to ashes. The money is believed to have been transported for distribution among the voters in a bid to influence them before polling. Faulty EVMs play spoil sport. Voters showed great enthusiasm in many places, flocking to the polling booths in hordes much before starting time. But the EVMs pose the biggest challenge for election officials in almost all districts, including Hyderabad and Rangareddy. The officials grappled with a spate of difficulties as the EVMs either failed to function or threw up technical glitches. This caused a corresponding delay in the process to begin. But stars keep the election shining. While violence kept the police busy in the districts, a galaxy of Tollywood stars added a touch of glamour to the polling in the state capital. Pastor Pavan Kalyan, 
Balakrishna, Nagarjuna and Amla, Junior and TR, Chiranjeevi and family were the prominent personalities who thronged the polling booths in Jubilee Hills and Banjara Hills areas. Governor ESL Narasimhan, TDP Chief and Chandra Babu Naidu and TRS President K. Chandrasekhar Rao were among the high-profile leaders who also exercised their franchise in the region. Well, Telangana region witnessed a historic battle today and on the 16th of the next month, we will know who the people have chosen to be their representatives. Durga Prasad, News 9, Hyderabad. While clashes and controversies marred the day, there was one big personality who had to face a major embarrassment. And well, that man is mega star Chiranjeevi. Take a look as to what he had to go through when he went into the Jubilee Hills booth to cast his vote. Uh oh, the awkward moment. We are in the queue for one the bar. Do you, you, you need a special treatment? Do you need a special treatment? Do you need a special treatment? No, 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 please. Your son is here. He should be in the queue, right? No, 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 please be in the queue. All those of you who exercised your franchise might have wanted to float the rules for once. And even as you stood in the queue, you might have witnessed VIPs barging into the poll booth, casting the vote and leaving, while you might have been standing in the queue for hours. But this voter in Jubilee Hills refused to just stand and stare. When this young voter saw Chiru and his family walking past him, while he himself had been standing in the queue for 90 minutes, he strongly retorted. We are in the queue for one the bar. Do you, you, you need a special treatment? Do you need a special treatment? Do you need a special treatment? No, 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 please. Your son is here. He should be in the queue, right? No, no, so please be in the queue. That was embarrassing. Yes, Chiranjeevi did try his level best to pacify the voter, but he refused to give in until Chiru walked back and joined the queue. Chiranjeevi, along with his wife Supriya and son Ramcharan, was at Jubilee Hills polling booth to cast his vote. While initially they were all seen following a queue, they broke the queue and proceeded inside when invited by some officials. But as we all know, democracy has no VIPs. And this youngster, identified as Karthik, took it a tad too seriously. While none had the courage to come out against the actor turned politician, everybody lauded the youngster after he was seen sheepishly walking back to join the queue. And of course, there will always be an explanation. There's no question of violating. I'm not such a person who can violate. I'm just to cross-check whether my uh, the name is there or not. I went to the uh, table. I asked the officers. They checked and they said, yes, your name is there. Thank you very much. Because the last time... I, my station was a mobile ready school and here they changed. So I couldn't find my name there. Meanwhile, press is so enthusiastic and they said, challenge is violating. No, I'm not such a person. So this is for your kind information. I'm not such a person and I'm a person who can respect democracy. Later on, even the voter went on to say that Chiru was not disabled to be given special treatment. As a VIP, I respect him. An Okalochi vote is fair enough, no objection. And then he's a very busy person. Along with him, family members, he's Kratamanadi, it's the wrong thing. Some, uh, because uh, he's a resident here, I'm a resident here. That's a major thing. I've told him as, uh, as a normal residency here, follow the queue. Was he really going in to check the voters' list? We don't know about that. But after this, all the biggies will think twice before floating the rules. A News 9 report.